Hi everyone, welcome to Scalar Academy. I'm on from this side, and in this video, we are going to create pagination project, uh, or you can say a mini project using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So if I click on the next button, it highlights the next page, and if I click on the previous, it highlights the previous one, and if I click any of the page number, uh, it highlights the uh, which I have clicked on. Okay, so let us start. Start with the boilerplate. Okay. Body. Oh, what I'm uh, by looking at it, we can consider it is a container. Inside this, we have buttons and this page. Right. So oh, let's just create this. Yes, uh, I'm going to have a class, a div class container. Inside this, uh, let's have two buttons. Right. And let me give them. Differentiator class as well, previous and next. Yeah, now now I have a UL uh, inside this. Uh, let me have five uh, allies and uh, give them some common class page. Just class total. Yeah, five. The UL let me just class page contain. So, so. Live. How does it look? So the structure, I think. Good. It just looks good, but we don't want the previous and next text. We want. icons. So let me just. Font awesome. Radian first so that we can this. Copy URL. The URL. Copy. Okay. Now we have this. Yes. Let's go to awesome. Once. Our next and previous. So you can select any just uh, I think it the one uh, we are using the so previous or next. So let me is there uh let's have previous as well. We are looking for good. Let's see. Now we have previous next button. Let's start this styling. Uh, just give all X adding it. So box sizing border box. <laughs> A structure. Or uh, first of all, I would like to uh, take this center. Okay, let the container we have. Uh, we have container. We want container to be in center. That is parent. That is body. We have to give it uh, a display flex. Look, by container and center as well. Center. Don't see any difference. Because we have to give a uh, specified height, height as well. All as well. Yeah. Same thing we have to do uh, this time with container. Okay. Container of wood. Okay. X. Second. Nine height. So. Line items uh, to be that is the uh, y axis uh, center. So in the x axis, let's just have a C1. Okay, uh, it does not have width, that's why it's uh, overlapping. 
probably can give to them. Okay. Seven hundred. That looks good. Change it accord. Let me just give it the background color. Okay. So, just take height as. It looks good. Good. Container looks. Change the color to white. Add to. So what we want to we don't want to like one after one two three one two three. yes so uh, page can but the flex uh, I need I need the sign I can so, have to give it itself or let me just Eighty percent hold. Okay. Now let's just uh, first of all remove. Okay. Just reduce the width. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, so uh, increase the font size as well. Five then this look I look good hmm. okay window five looking pretty good page container we have done oh, oh let me just increase the size of but we dominate and uh, now uh, I'm planning to add effect to this. Just add filter. So, uh, uh, I think we can add some border the uh, border to our container it border rate but even then then looks good it also good uh, and let me just uh, to the page uh, of Cursor okay. so as you can see by default this one is activated. For that, what I'm planning to add another class of active style this. But the, some height with the, the border radius background the by color white color okay. obviously uh get some height and so i have given a button font the student let's give it the height and that so that uh, when i give it a radius it looks same The circle right issue there, but it's not in center though. Can do just if it center right a center 
So yeah, our CSS part is completed. You can see so it does look similar to this. The position is and but I think uh, they, this, uh, good. what we can do uh, we need to implement the uh, functionality so, uh, Oh, oh, let's come to the implement reality. So first, uh, I'm planning to add functionality of next and previous button. First, let's select the next button. So, what next? Previous button. Okay. Yes. First, uh, let's implement an next. For someone clicks on the exit. What we want, uh, we simply want uh, the highlighting part is done by this class, right? Active. So, what we want? Whenever someone clicks on second, right? So, I want uh, that this active class gets removed from here and it gets added to second, right? Whenever someone clicks on third or even third or next, next, what I want, I want to remove a class from second head to third. Right? This is the functionality which I want. Add it to first by default. First one is it. So let's just have a uh, have a variable at current page. Is keep it to zero. By default, it's zero. But uh, and uh, let me just select all the pages because uh, we want so apply our class or add our class or remove our class the pages right it has been uh, selected all the pages have been selected I want to remove the class of the current page pages of current page current page I want to class list dot to remove the active I click on the next the class gets removed or not it's not current page for someone button uh, uh, dot class list dot remove see uh what's happening here what reference uh, reading class read properties of funding going I uh, yes Pages okay, it's a page, not as of yes. See now, okay, when uh, till now, oh, it's working. When I when I'm clicking the next button, the class is removing. Okay, the next part, next part is I have to add this class to next page. Basically, when I was uh, clicking, when I was removing, so let me just uh, increment the current page, okay. add our class to the next. Page. Okay. working fine but after five uh, it gets uh, one two three five after five it is it's getting removed but it's uh, it won't it, it it is not able to find the sixth page so we are not able to see the activity but we can do we can just apply here uh, if condition if uh, current page equal equal Pages dot length minus one. So we don't want to do anything. Just to it. Okay. Keep it as it is. So if you if you are at the last page and you again and again, uh, nothing will happen. Or we can just simply disable the button. Uh, anything, anything can be done. We can disable this or we can say if you can. Both will work fine. Similar to this, uh, let's implement the this button functionality. Add event list. And we pages of current page going to remove class list class from the class list 
एक्टिव क्लास वी वॉन्ट एड इस बट इंस्टेड ऑफ प्लसिंग द करंट विच वी वॉन्ट टू डिक्रीज इट बी और इन समन क्लिक्स ऑन द प्रीवियस बटन इफ यू आर एट थ्री वॉन्ट टू कम एट टू दैट्स वाई आई डिक्रीज द करंट नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू एड दिस क्लासलेस Let's see. Uh, next one is working fine. This one is working fine as well. So we same problem we had with our next button, but we can if current page equal equal zero, so do nothing. Just wait. Okay. Nothing will happen. Now working fine. The final functionality which we have to add is whenever someone clicks on any page, right? Any page number. If for someone Six on one, two, four, five. But we want to we want to highlight this. Basically, we want to add the class to the particular number or page. So for that, we have to apply event listener to all the pages. So a loop or i equal pages dot length plus plus pages of i. Let's uh, I'm adding event listener to each page. Right? If so someone clicks, I want the function to be executed. Right? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to remove the class from current page. The class list. I want to remove the active class. Class list. So oh, the class will be the class. It's removed. Right. Oh, uh, it's removed. So now I want to add the class list to the ith page. Basically, uh, the one which was clicked. Right. Let's see. Working fine. Working fine, but we have to remove the class as well. Right. What do you think? Getting act as active class. What do you want to? Move as well. The uh, current page we basically have to update the current page. That's it. So current page becomes i. Current page it becomes i index. So works right. And just uh, uh, add one more edge case. That is, if, if someone clicks on the same page like that. If a person is on the second page and it and he or she clicks on the second page again, what we can say, uh, I equal equal a uh, current page. Uh, everything is fine. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's it from the video. Or uh, do let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section. Don't forget to the like button and share with your. Bye.